there is 30,000 diseases out there, unsolved, unchecked. I think what most people don't realize is how long it takes to create a drug to fight a disease. It can take decades, sometimes longer. It's very difficult, but it's possible with AI. At the forefront of this revolution is in silico medicine. Our mission is to extend healthy longevity by discovering and repurposing drugs that are reasonably safe to use. And NVIDIA GPU can be used to process data at several levels of this pyramid. So Encilico was originally born out of NVIDIA GTC conference. Uh, when we presented for the first time, uh, the question mark was, can NVIDIA help solve aging? Back in 2014, in Emerging Technology Center at John Hopkins campus, we set our first office. At that time, we were both very passionate about bioinformatics, big data, and deep learning. In 2014, we were pretty much the first one. People were highly skeptical, so we started to explore which areas of bioinformatics can be accelerated with deep learning and where we can make the most impact and apply the power of deep neural networks that at that time outperformed humans in image recognition, voice recognition, text recognition, many other tasks, to identify the different patterns in different biological and chemical modalities that drive aging. And we published our first proof of concept studies in 2016 in Nature Communication Journal. We developed our first method focused on pathway analysis called IPANDA. We built on top of that an IPANDA transformed into tool which are currently used by thousands of users called Pandaomics. So what we wanted to do when we started was to combine biology, chemistry and medicine all together. Back in 2014, Alex has this vision of the company that would cover the entire spectrum of drug discovery and development. And generally the chemistry revolution started. And there are two ways, to, two strategies for AI-driven innovation in pharma to ensure that you get better molecules and uh, much faster approvals. So one is looking for a needle in a haystack, and another one is creating a new needle. So what we did, and we were the first ones to publish and uh, validate, we started employing this particular technology uh, for making, to make deep neural networks imagine new molecules. Even many of the uh, people who originally started with me did not believe that it was possible because at that time the company was struggling financially. We just got biology to work and the switch to generative chemistry was not exactly welcome. Even in 2019, when we finally published an experimental validation of a generative chemistry exercise, very few people bought into the idea that it will transform chemistry. But since it was a high-profile journal, and since we managed to go into mice, uh, the paper got a lot of attention. And since we started using the technology called generative tensorial reinforcement learning very early, People really started picking up on that, so since then, multiple groups have reproduced uh, Gentrol and used it for their work. We understood that we are onto something great, uh, but very few people believe that it's gonna be possible. We had a major split in the company uh, so that we became truly end-to-end. -end. However, we realized that uh, just generative AI, regardless of how good you are, it does not produce enough value. And that's why when Dr. Rem joined the company, uh, he completely transformed in silica. Once you go big and try to utilize your AI for drug discovery, you need a completely different set of expertise. So you need to have people who can use AI to produce the molecules you need uh, and take them all the way into clinical trials. And for that, we had to partner with a truly amazing scientist. He managed to build a team of really experienced drug hunters that can take the molecules produced by AI to the next level. It's a fully integrated drug discovery team. Everybody believes VIDD can really provide the innovation and also acceleration in drug discovery. Uh, we want to find some novel targets that work on the fibrosis. Our AI team 
used fibrotic patients' data and comparing those transcromic data with the healthy uh, people's data. And they identified close to 20 novel targets. And then we use our internal filters for target validation, and we nail down TNIC as the targets we want to pursue. Back at that time, there's no chemistry starting point. And then once we gave our chemical 42 the structure of that TNIC protein, and it gave us uh, hundreds of compounds, and our medicinal chemist uh, select 78, and we do the synthesis and testing. Even though AI provides a lot of insights on what can work and what cannot, still it is necessary to properly validate in vitro and in vivo uh, everything that we discover. Yesterday we got the 14-day pulse data for at least one of our lead compounds, which is really great. It gave us a good therapeutic window. Today we have a, a historic moment. Uh, we can claim PCC. So within just a few months of joining, he nominated two preclinical candidates in lung fibrosis as an, and in kidney fibrosis with our novel target, novel molecule out of AI. <laughs> and when you race and win and achieve a milestone, you need to celebrate. So today we're celebrating, right? So let's celebrate first in humans and race to phase two. This is the first time people use AI to discover novel targets and also discover novel molecules and get into a clinical trial. Under four years, you managed to start phase two human clinical trials. Once you combine the best AI and human, you can make impossible possible. I'm still responsible for technology innovation and uh, uh, software development. And Dr. Ren took over uh, drug discovery and development. And that symbiosis allowed us to emerge as a leader in the industry. Our platform has fueled a robust and diversified pipeline, targeting multiple therapeutic areas with high unmet medical needs. We've identified 29 distinct drug targets, with 31 ongoing programs, all driven by our deep comprehension of disease and patient omics data. We also sell our AI platform software to the pharmaceutical and biotechnology companies and academics, to enable faster global drug discovery and achieve rapid industry-scale validation. We managed to create so many wonderful therapeutic programs and advance both the pipeline and the platform. So we went from being a software company to being an AI-powered biotech. We span the entire globe, attracting the top talent in AI in Montreal, Canada, business development and finance in the US, generative AI software in the Middle East and in Taipei, target discovery in Hong Kong, drug discovery in Shanghai, and robotics in Suzhou. I'm speaking from Abu Dhabi, our regional headquarters. My job title now is Global Head of AI Platforms. I'm also President of Insilico Medicine Canada. I serve as the Head of Hong Kong Office at Insilico Medicines. So we interact heavily with our AI team in UAE and in Montreal. What I brought to the company is the drug discovery expertise. We are aligned uh, over one mission to develop a very effective, very safe, life-saving therapeutics uh, that have predominantly dual purpose that target disease and aging at the same time. Different geographies have uh, different properties. So in uh, Canada, for example, we can uh, utilize some of the best AI talent for AI theory. Uh, it also has a certain brand. My role is to execute plan um, on the Pharma.ai strategy in terms of software, support, and sales. Bringing a, the best AI company for drug discovery in the world, which is in Silico, that's for sure, uh, to Canada is a huge win for the country. In the UAE, it's a all welcoming, all tolerant, that welcomes everybody from all over the world, and it's kind of the middle earth. Here we have a dry lab scientists, AI engineers, software developers, and quantum computing specialists who create new models and perfect old models from our Pharma AI platform and devise new applications of the platform and also interact with customers. So we gather expert feedback and implement it into the product. In uh, Asia, uh, specifically in China, you've got massive infrastructure 
that enables you to very rapidly synthesize and test uh, the fruits of AI and make AI even better. We have done a lot of two-way communications between the AI team and drug discovery team uh, so that we can continue to improve our AI platform. Our mission is to empower the scientists and medical professionals with the latest uh, AI technologies to help them to find the novel therapeutic targets which can facilitate the development of the drug. I also oversee our publications team so we work with renowned universities worldwide and publish many impactful papers. So I'm leading a team in Taiwan responsible for market development in the iPad region and also technology development as well. We discuss our project uh, in a routine basis with our Shanghai colleagues. As a global community, we utilize the best properties of each region. If you are not utilizing that resource, you are going to be at least a year behind. Especially for those uh, diseases that with no cure currently, the patients really need the drug, they need some hope. Over the past decade, in silico medicine has been at the forefront of accelerating drug discovery by leveraging our rapidly evolving and proprietary pharma AI platform, pioneering a new era in pharmaceutical research. We are relentlessly innovating, executing at an alarming pace. With the generative AI models, Insilico successfully developed a drug candidate for idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis, now in phase two clinical trials. We also want to bridge large-scale automation with AI so that AI can run a very large-scale target discovery and generative chemistry laboratories to produce drugs even faster. Our pioneering work in combining quantum computing with generative AI has led to a successful demonstration of its potential benefits. Their generative transformers for age prediction exemplify their commitment to understanding and addressing age-related changes. We have the same level of hunger, innovation hunger, as we had 10 years ago. Our USP1 inhibitor now is in phase one studies in patients who have this BRCA1 mutation. The drug has been recently outlicensed to Exelixis. We're actively looking for as licensing partners in addition to strategic partners. So as overall as business, we're going up the value chain. Significant collaborations with industry giants like Fosun Pharma, Sanofi, Exelixis, Minarini, and partnerships focusing on sustainability with Saudi Aramco and Syngenta showcase in Silico's versatility and impact across various sectors. So in 2022, when uh, generative AI got consumerized and uh, many consumers started experiencing the fruits of uh, labor in generative AI, we were pretty much the only generative AI company with clinical stage assets. And many of the pharma companies, they realized that they can either use in silico tools and have the entire generative software suite, or they need to try and develop their own and validate. Today, in silico is at the forefront of the digital biology revolution. By going from A to Z with AI, the whole process is speeded up. I mean, I like about this is it was not done by luck. It's more the, the method, it's more the procedure, which is revolutionary. Not a lot of brilliant people are willing to do the part where the rubber meets the road and really delivers a solution. And in silico is a rare combination that does brilliant work that's also very connected and relevant and practical. So we of course care about the employees and the shareholders, but our ultimate uh, boss, our ultimate customer, our ultimate partner is the patient. From my personal experience, I have witnessed my loved ones getting sick and their health decaying with time. We must do something about it. I love that we are very agile and dynamic and we execute and this is helping us get medication to patients faster. Happy 10th anniversary. Happy 10th anniversary. Happy 10 year anniversary. Happy 10 year anniversary. Happy 10 year anniversary to Insilica Medicine. And the ultimate goal for AIDD is really to deliver the drugs to the waiting patients in the fast speed. And of course, we want to develop more talent globally uh, to join in Silico, to join our goals, uh, to align with our vision, and to make people's life uh, healthier, uh, longer, more productive, and happier.